Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and today we are revisiting the Godot 4 course over up on Humble Bundle. This is from Game Dev TV. I asked you guys in the earlier video I did covering this if you'd like me to do a review of sorts and I got enough yeses that this here is that review. Now what we're going to be doing is just taking a quick look at the course, specifically about what you accomplish in each course. Now I actually went through and did one of these in its entirety and then skimmed through the rest of them to give you an idea of what I thought about them. And as you can tell by the thumbnail for this video, I think they're good. I think they're a very good option for learning Godot. I actually did this course right here, the Godot 4 Shaders course, uh, and uh, I learned stuff for sure. Like I, I'm not really the target model for a lot of this stuff. I'm, I'm probably a little too experienced for most of these courses, but I suck at shaders. And after doing this course, I suck a little bit less. Now in my review, I was going to make some comments about the Teachable platform. I did run into some issues with the actual tools that they use, uh, but that's actually become kind of moot because in between then and now, I got the following email. Email. So, uh, big news, we're gearing up to move our hopefully forever digital home soon. That's right, brand new spanking website is on the horizon. It's going to make your learning experience smoother and sleeker than a high-res texture on a AAA game model. Hold on to your hats, it might be a tad bumpy in the meanwhile. So, on May the 17th, they're going to be moving to a different site. So, really no sense in um, getting into the, the mechanics of how the Teachable platform works if they're moving to another platform. Also, do be aware uh, that on May 17th, your Game Dev TV access might get a little bit iffy. So, I can say right off the hop that this course right here, the Godot 4 Shader course, definitely uh, was worthwhile for me. I learned stuff in it. Uh, I would also say that these three packs are completely and utterly pointless. And now what we're going to do is quickly take a look at uh, the remaining of these. And we're going to do that by looking at the projects that are attached. So what I've done is I've basically added every uh, Game Dev TV project right here tagged in. Uh, and these are kind of the courses that you will go through in each particular thing. So, for example, if you do the 3D course, which is available right here, the complete 3D course, you will create this project, this project, and this project. Well, the 2D course, you will create these three projects. There is also the Action RPG course, which is a C-sharp based project. Uh, and then finally, we got mobile and multiplayer. So what I'm going to do is quickly show you like the actual projects that each one you would create. So you get an idea of the kind of topics that you will learn about in these courses. Now, we'll start things off with the action RPG course. This one is somewhat unique in that this course is uh, the C-sharp project here. So you'll see if you go ahead and check out any of these, this source code is entirely in C-sharp. There's not a lot of C-sharp content out there. Uh, so that is a nice aspect here. So I, I do appreciate that about these courses. Um, so if you want to learn C-sharp development and the Godot game engine, this course is great for you. You're creating a 2.5D style RPG game. Um, this is, again, the end result of it. Every one of the courses you're going to see here, uh, there is the step-by-step um, -step creation of it on GitLab. Uh, so you'll get an idea of the project you're working with. But this is what you're going to deal with. You're going to deal with creating NPCs, 2D style, again, sprites, in a 3D world, uh, again, entirely using the C-sharp programming language. So that is the Action RPG course. Next up, we have the mobile course. Uh, that is this guy right here. So Mastering Mobile um, Development with Godot 4. Uh, here you're creating the following game. So it's basically a straightforward um, game, 2D style game here. But the key thing that you're going to find with this guy is it does things like shows you how to use and create in-app purchases. How to do the typical things that you would do on a mobile device. How to handle um, touch screen input and so on. I'll quickly show you the project that you'll actually create. So it shows you creating a mobile style game, a very simple game on the whole. The other thing you'll notice, you got menus, you've got the ability to uh, create an online shop, do in-app purchases and so on. So everything you need to know about specifically creating a mobile style title is covered in this one. Next up, we have the multiplayer course. That would be uh, this guy right here. Do be aware this is early access. So this course is still under development. In this game, you're going to be creating, uh, again, uh, all the connection stuff you need to host and join a client server, and it's going to synchronize gameplay between the two. So, for example, quick sample of how this game works. So you either host or join via IP address. So if you host the game, then basically you can start it and you can move around in a 2D world. And then someone can join your game by putting in the IP address of your host and then you'll both control around. So this is covering uh, more or less network synchronization, that kind of stuff, uh, basic lobbies, and that's about it. Again, this one is early access, so we got to stay tuned to see how it ultimately develops. But that is the project you'll be working on. So next up, we have the three core or the three projects you'll do in the 2D course. Uh, that would be this one right here, the Complete Godot 2D course. Uh, this is one of the three titles you will create. 
Uh, so this is Speedy Saucer. Use your arrow wasp keys to move, and you're basically falling around a maze, trying not to uh, hit the wall, and then your, your speed time to see how fast you can do it. Very simple game, but it gives you an idea of how things work. A lot of these um, escalate in difficulty. Uh, so that is the one uh, project there. So it does not like being shut down that way. All right, so we've got the other ones here as well. I'll, just, I'll do all three 2D in a row here, just jumping between them. So that is uh, Speedy Saucer Git. You've also got uh, Martian Mike. This one is particularly well-named, in my humble opinion. Another 2D example thing, this is a, a platformer-style game. So you, you see how 2D collisions and tile maps, etc., work. And we'll go ahead and check out how this one goes. So a straightforward 2D game, parallax background, sound effects, tile map creation, and uh, timer-based. And then you're just trying to get through the levels as fast as you can. You do have double jump, and there. So very simple. You see, again, another level. We got um, spring platforms here as well. So this is the second of the uh, style games you're going to create on this one. And then the final in the 2D course is, let's quit back to the project list. Do, 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 do. Uh, so that was Martian Mike. We've done Speedy Saucer. And then finally, we have Alien Attack. And this one is, I believe... Um, Oh, what kind of game is this? It's not Asteroids. Uh, but basically, uh, a side-scrolling, waves of enemies come at you. You've got a score. You've got simple, uh, very simple AI as things kind of s speed towards you on uh, kind of predefined paths. And it's just a left-to-right style. It's not really bullet hell, but you get an idea of the type of game you're creating here. So that's what the, kind of the three games that you'll create using the mobile course. Again, you can mix and match what you learn here with what you would learn in the... Um, other course as well, like the mobile course, if you're adapting that for mobile, you want to do in-app purchases, touch controls, and so on. And then, of course, you've got the multiplayer course, if that is what you're looking at as well. And then the final course we were talking about today is the 3D. Here you're creating three projects once again. So this is the complete Godot 3D course. And here you're creating Robot Rampage, a Robo Rampage. Um, and then give this a second to load. So this is a 3D project. These are all um, GD Script, by the way. Everything we just talked about other than the Action RPG, they're all GD Script-based projects. Uh, this, obviously, now we're moving into the 3D space. These ones are actually a little bit more involved uh, than the 2D ones. So they look like much more um, complete games, I guess you could say. So this one is an FPS-style game. Uh, and you walk through the world. You've got NPCs that you shoot at, like so. Now, interestingly enough, I don't have any sound. So I'm not sure uh, why, uh, but again, first-person shooter style uh, game that you're creating there. Uh, so that is Robo Rampage. Uh, beyond that one, uh, we've also got two others. One is a tower defense style game, uh, and I believe that was Barbarian Blaster, uh, but I might be mixing it up. So again, another 3D style game. This is, again, I believe the tower defense style title. Uh, where you basically are creating towers, things come at you, uh, and then you react to them, you earn more gold, and then you can create more turrets in the world. Eventually, I don't know what the actual price of the turrets is, so. but there we go. So you can create more and more. Typical tower defense style title. Obviously, this one is in 3D, as you can see from the level right here, but it does show you how to create another simple style game there. Uh, and then our final project that we cover here, let's go back to the project list, is, once again, in 3D, and that would be Project Boost. And I forget when this one is, to be honest. So we'll find out together. Uh, so these are the projects you'll be creating uh, if you create these type of... Oh, this is um, a, a rocket landing type thing. So you're, you're using thrust, and you're trying to get it onto that, that control pad. Again, they're simple games. But that's, that's on purpose because they actually showcase, um, you know, aspects that you need to, to learn game development without being overly complex in what they do. So those are the projects you'll be working on with this guy. And I say for the most part, uh, everything there was very solid. Uh, they do do summary lessons as you go through it to make sure that you've actually learned what you're talking about, which I do appreciate. So again, if you do pick this guy up, and if you use my link, by the way, I do get a small commission potentially, and I do appreciate that. Uh, but you'll see here the 2D course and 3D course. Each one of those had three projects in it that you will learn. We saw all those there. The action RPG course is a two and a half style um, 
RPG game. So basically the characters are in 2D. The world environment is in 3D. This one is using C Sharp if you want to learn there. Everything here, by the way, is for Godot 4.1 or 4.2 in terms of newness. So they're all very current. Multiplayer, this one is in early access, but it shows you a synchronized 2D uh, style game with a host and a client attached. Mobile games shows you how to, again, make a complete mobile game. Uh, also how to integrate things like a store and app purchases, menus, touch controls, and so on. Uh, there is a Godot controller um, that I'm not demonstrating today. And then finally, the shader course, which I ran through, and it's actually got a very nice uh, structure to it. It's not major projects. It's more like, here's how you create this effect, this effect, and this effect. But the first um, maybe three or four hours of it introduce you to concepts of shader development, such as things like swizzling, etc. And I did pick some stuff up from it, so I would recommend it. And then, of course, all of this stuff is just filler crap that you just don't care about. So do not buy this uh, course for these things right here. They're just some random assets. None of them are even that particularly good. Uh, so they're just here to pad out the bundle. But the rest of it, these courses, very, very good. Uh, on par or better than anything you're going to find on YouTube for the most part. Uh, is it worth the 25 bucks? Well, it's all relative how much 25 bucks means to you and what your learning level is. But if you are a beginner to Godot, for sure, if you can afford 25 bucks, this is a great learning opportunity. Uh, if you are an intermediate level, uh, there's still stuff that you will pick up here for sure, but a little bit less, of course. So again, these are aimed more at the uh, beginner to intermediate stage. And if you're a senior developer or a more experienced developer, probably nothing here for you. But that generally is true about Morse courses, to be honest. So that is a quick review of the um, things that you are going to get inside of the Learn to Make Games in Godot 4 by Game Dev TV bundle. Do I recommend it? Yes, very much so. Now, the one caveat, again, is that they are changing their platform. So there were things on Teachable that I found very frustrating while going through this. It wasn't tracking my progress on the courses as well as I would like. I don't know if it was because I wasn't full fully completing lessons. But if I was like seven minutes into a part of a lesson, it wouldn't take up from where I left off. And for some reason, I couldn't stream out to uh, TV. So Apple Play just did not work. And hopefully those things are going to be fixed with whatever platform they move to. So I'm not going to get too much into the teachable side of things because quite frankly, it's changing. So uh, that, ladies and gentlemen, is the Learn to Make Games in Godot 4 course bundle. Is it a good pickup? If you're a beginner to intermediate level Godot developer, yes, definitely it is. Let me know what you think. Comments down below. And did you pick this one up? Check it out. And if so, what did you think of the courses? Let other people know in the comments down below. And I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.